Hi, Demetrius Sherrod here in the Cobb TV studio for chatting with the DPS director. And joining me in the studio for the last time is Director Mike Register. Director, good to see you. Glad to have you here. And that'll lead us off today is the retirement. It's been announced that you're retiring. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us when that'll take effect and why you decided to step away? Well, it's going to take effect uh, August 23rd. And it's just some personal needs uh, that I currently uh, have to address and an opportunity that coincides with that. And um, currently I just uh, think it's the best thing for me and my family and also uh, obviously for my future. Uh, as far as uh, the interim, and I know that has been uh, asked several times, that's up to the county manager and the board of commissioners and I'm sure they'll make an announcement uh, in a timely fashion pertaining to that. Uh, in your time as director and chief, what were some of the challenges that you think you faced? Well, you know, when I, I got here as chief of police in 2017, I think one of the major hurdles that we had to address was uh, the community relationship with the Cobb County Police Department. And I got to tell you, I'm, uh, not only uh, me working with the community, but also the command staff and the officers, the men and women there at the police department work very hard to put in place some initiatives like the um, uh, community affairs unit that I think were very instrumental in bridging that gap of uh, understanding. And I think that it gave us uh, more opportunities to have dialogue, more opportunities to see things from different lenses, uh, to talk about issues that were important uh, to the community, to law enforcement. And I think when you look back over the last two and a half years, what the Cobb County Police Department has done and continues to do, I think that uh, the relationship between the police department and the community is, is uh, very strong, and I think that it will even become stronger as we go into the future. Um, and of course, another one of the biggest hurdles that we had to address, and we continue to address this, is the uh, attrition of our public safety personnel, specifically our police officers. I think uh, as of yesterday, we were at either 99 or 100. Uh, we're very thankful that the commissioners uh, took the first step in uh, addressing pay and benefits, but we have a long way to go. Now on the flip side, what were some of the highlights? Just a day-to-day -day interaction with the men and women uh, of the Cobb County Police Department and, and, and Department of Public Safety. Uh, you know, just so very honored to have been chosen to lead as the police chief and then as director. And the county really does have a great committed workforce that intends to serve them to the best of their ability. Um, and, you know, when we look at um, specific things um, from an operational standpoint, um, you know, more cars, uh, addressing, you know, the crime stats. Um, um, Cobb County is one of the safest counties, even with the personnel deficits that you'll find in the metro Atlanta area. Uh, the fire department, some of the innovative things that they're doing there uh, internally, uh, addressing the diversity issue externally, um, you know, moving forward uh, on some of their projects uh, that in the coming years, like uh, Station 31 at the airport, will make the county much, much more uh, uh, a safer place to be. And I think uh, in 911 uh, EMA, all of our DPS departments are working very hard to look toward the future and be ready for what the future brings. Now, what advice would you have for the county going forward? We have got to get to the point where uh, we have a unified front. We have unified goals. 
Uh, and that unified front and those unified goals have to be passed down from our leadership to the men and women who work here, not only in DPS, but to all the Cobb County employees. Um, I think that the compensation package that the board voted on and approved that will begin October the 1st. I, I, again, I've said this before, I think that's just the first step. But they have got to understand that it is imperative that we become competitive with the other police departments and public safety agencies in the area. Um, you know, every citizen that lives in this county wants to feel safe when they go to work. They want to uh, believe that their children are safe, to go outside and play. Businesses want to come into this county and feel safe. And public safety is an integral part of creating that perception and realizing a safe county and improving the quality of life. I'll give you for instance, some of the th challenges that we have in public safety. Uh, just this week we were using data and we found that it actually takes 34 applications to hire one police officer. We're down 100 police officers. That's over 3,000 applications. Let's put that in greater perspective. Right now, well, last month we only received 135 applications. How long is it going to take us to fill those vacancies if we don't immediately understand the severity of what those vacancies create? And so going back to compensation and benefits, that is going to be the key to help the chiefs and the directors that oversee public safety get the good quality applicant that they need and to have the requisite amount of personnel to respond in a timely manner and give the services that everyone expects. All right, and finally, uh, did you have any last parting words for us? Just that it's been an honor to be the uh, police chief here in Cobb County, and it has been a great honor to be the Department of Public Safety Director. It will certainly be one of the highlights of my life and my career. And I wish the men and women uh, in public safety, uh, the employees of the county, the citizens of the county, uh, Godspeed and the best of luck in the future. And uh, my heart will always uh, have a place in it for this county. All right. Well, thanks, Director, for stopping by and sharing all of that. And thank you for everything that you've done for Cobb County over the years. In the meantime, make sure to stay connected to the Department of Public Safety by following us on all of our social media pages.